What's up conference organizers and bike people? This is Fossil Fool coming at you from Yerba Buena Gardens where Rock the Bike is producing a four-day pedal-powered knowledge station. The knowledge station is a combination of a recharge bar for cell phones and devices and a really good sounding DJ booth. It fills a space like this with really good sounding music and offers conference attendees a place to work their legs, get their heart going, and also recharge their phones and devices. People who come to conferences may have flown across the country or maybe across the world to be here and they're coming here to learn and we find that pedal power is a really great match for that because it helps people open up, it gets their heart beating, it helps them relax and make the most of their uh, sessions that they are here for and the networking that happens at a conference like this. Because they may be experiencing pedal power for the first time, we show extra care to make it comfortable for them. We have these really stable generators that make it really easy and safe to generate power on a bike. You can pedal easy, medium, or really hard and the generator goes nowhere. They're extremely stable and they fit a wide variety of people up to six foot three guys and down to seven year old kids. And because there are six bikes set up and working as a team, we don't pressure any riders to give more than they want to. And the light tube shows them how hard to pedal. And as long as the team keeps it in the green, then we can raise the DJ system to really impressive levels. And it's really cool for the people out in the park to know that all of the power for this DJ rig is coming from pedal power. We work closely with the organizers to make sure that the sound system that we bring is appropriate for the space. One of the really cool things about our system is how flexible it is in terms of the amount of power that is required. So when four or five or six people get up on these bikes and start pedaling like they mean it, we can truly fill an entire park with great sounding music. But if those people get off and then there's one or two people on the bikes, the system doesn't die. We're able to just lower the music and accommodate for having less power. We actually don't store any power in batteries. We use only ultra capacitors, which hold a minute or two of power. And so there is a chance of an outage, but that makes the system more lively. And if there is an outage or two over the course of a day, it's really not too big of a deal because people experience it and it reminds them, oh wow, this really is powered by those bicycles. We're also offering power to anyone who wants it for their cell phones or to recharge a tablet or even a laptop. They need their devices to stay in touch with their loved ones and their, and their co-workers. And so we are offering a useful place to recharge their devices. It's often hard to find a place to charge, especially if you're outdoors. We also are happy to work with the organizers of a conference to make sure that our bikes and our gear fit with the branding of their event. We offer our clients the option to brand the front wheel of our generators, and we'll also coach you on how to develop signage that is visible from a distance and encourages the maximum participation. Charging a phone only takes about five watts of power, but one person cruising on a bike can generate about 40 or 50 watts of power. So that means that one person can charge eight or 10 phones at once. And that's pretty cool because that means that if you have a multi-bike system, you can charge all the phones you want and you'll have plenty of power left over for the music. If you're sitting down in a conference session all morning long and then you eat lunch and then you go back to a session that lasts all afternoon, you may have gone in a, a whole day without much physical activity and having a chance to pedal a bike and do something useful is a really great thing. Everyday people from the conference and from San Francisco have been powering up the DJ all day long. So far we've generated a total of 398 watt hours. 